Hello, Mr. Stevens, Math 6 and 6. Uh, a couple of you asked me to do a little video on simplifying and cross-simplifying, um, which are necessary and very helpful when you're working with fractions uh, and shouldn't be the source of too much confusion. The first thing is, wh why would you need to simplify? Say you had a cake and you ate half of it. Fine. One half can't be simplified. It's already in simplest terms, but let's say that cake had been cut up into four pieces. Now you actually ate two out of four. But what if you cut it into eight pieces? Oh, now you've eaten four out of eight. How can these all be the same thing? Because as long as you do to the bottom what you do to the top, they remain equivalent fractions, all right? Whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. Still the same. Simplifying just goes the other way. Instead of multiplying, it divides. Simplifying is all about dividing. So take a fraction like 12 20 eighths. You look at it and you know it can be simplified because these are both even numbers. Now, the best thing to do is figure out what's the biggest number that goes into both of these numbers. I'm thinking it's probably 4. I don't know for sure. I could divide by 2, but I'm trying to get to my answer a little faster. So, you have to do the same thing to the top and the bottom. 4 goes into 12 three times. In other words, 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 goes into 28 seven times. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Both prime numbers, I'm done simplifying. Right? Remember, not every fraction can be simplified. But especially if you see two even numbers or no prime numbers. Although if you have something like this, you should be able to recognize that the bottom is twice as big as the top. So it's one half. Why does it work with this prime number? Because you can divide the top and the bottom by 7. All right, now cross simplifying. Say you have a multiplication problem, and it's something like this. Um, you could just multiply the top and multiply the bottom, but it's so much easier to cross simplify. Because whatever answer you get is going to have to be simplified anyway. 4 and 8. What goes into 4 and 8? 2 does. Think bigger. 4. How many times does 4 go into 4? Once. How many times does 4 go into 8? Twice. In other words, what's 4 divided by 4? 1. What's 8 divided by 4? 2. Same thing here. What goes into 2 and 12? 2 goes into itself once. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 goes into 12 six times. Now we just have to multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 6 is 6. Oh, look at that. can still be simplified. So how do I know? They're both even numbers. And I know that 2 goes into itself once. And 2 goes into 6 three times. There's my answer. Alrighty, that's simplifying and cross-simplifying. Remember, it's all about division. Uh, also remember, as far as the test is concerned, if you have the correct answer but you forgot to simplify, you'd only lose a point. All right? <clears throat> but when you have fractions, you always want to simplify or cross-simplify. All right, math six and six. This time, math six and four. Take care.